Hi children! How are you? Welcome to Harvest Kids! Good to see you! I can see you! I hope you can see me as well on your screen! My name is Teacher Becca. I missed you. I'm happy to be here again. How is mommy? How is sister? How is brother? How is daddy? How is your friend? Don't forget to invite someone today. Your friend next door, the one that lives right there, 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 there. Call them. Call them for Harvest Keys. Remember, we share every good thing we have. Do you remember what we learned about last week? Do you remember? Do you see what I'm holding? What does it have? Peace love and so many others last week we learned about we learned that the holy spirit is in us yes he's in you little one watching me on the screen he's in me he's in your friend your friend your mommy he's in us and we also learned that when the holy spirit is in us he gives us good fruit some of which I am holding on this balloon, like love, like peace, and so many other. Are you, are you ready for today's lesson? We are ready for you to teach you more, to remind you more. And before we do that, let us pray. Hands together, eyes closed. Loving Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the children. Thank you for where, wherever they are, that everyone watching will be impacted, that we shall learn, that we shall not be distracted by anything, but we shall stick us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we go to the lesson, get up and jump. Let's sing together.
Have you ever wished you had a certain talent or gift? Maybe you wish you were a brilliant scientist, or a world-famous singer, or a gold medal winning basketball player. Those are all good gifts. But sometimes, no matter how much we practice or how hard we try, we just won't have all the gifts we want. But that doesn't mean we don't have special gifts of our own. We all play an important role in the body of Christ, also known as the church. And God's given all of us gifts to help. The Apostle Paul talks about this in the book of 1 Corinthians. He said to think about it like this. In our human body, our eyes and our feet were made to do very different things. Our eyes were made to see and our feet were made to walk. If our eyes and our feet decided to change places, how would we see? How would we walk? Our bodies wouldn't work very well. The body of Christ is the same way. God's given us our special gifts as part of His church. When we use those gifts well, the whole body of Christ works like it should to show God's love to each other and the world. But when we don't use our gifts or get jealous and wish we had different gifts, it's like we're an eye wishing we were a foot. God made you to be you with your own unique and special mix of gifts and talents. So think about how you can use the gifts He's given you to follow Jesus and serve others as part of the church. When you do that, you'll be true to the self God made you to be. Hey, 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 hey! Guess who's back again? Hey, teacher Becky! And I am teacher Bias. Ooh, you you're know, a robot. I am trying to sound... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sound like a robot. Can Just you give us give us your best robot impression. Try to sound like a robot. Try and say your name like a robot oh, would. Yes, you're a robot. I can see that. It is good to have you all here today for Harvest Kids again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Good night. Don't go yet, but after this you can go and sleep if you're watching this at night, wherever you are. Today we are going to talk about the Holy Spirit, Spirit again. again. Yeah, so Teacher Baker told us what we learned about last week, which has to do with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Love, joy, peace. Remember the song? Yes. Remember? 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 Mm -hmm. Remember? Remember? That, that song. Do you remember? Awesome. So our memory verse, today we're going to talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Chabeka, do you like gifts? A lot. Do you guys love gifts? Do you guys love gifts? Mm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So the Holy Spirit doesn't just give us fruits. He also gives us gifts. And that's what we're going to talk about today. today. And teacher Becca is going to read for us the verse from which we are getting our lesson. So children, open with me. First Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter 12, mm -hmm. verse 7. And it says, let's read together. But, but the, the manifestation, manifestation of, of the, the Spirit, Spirit is, is given to each one for, for the, the profit, profit of, of, all. of all. all. Awesome. There's a big word there, manifestation. Ha! Big word for some of you. For some of you, it's not a big word. So what this verse means is that the things which have been given to us by the Holy Spirit as gifts are not just for us, but for the profit of all, which means for? Everyone. For everyone. For others. For us to help Others. others in the body of Christ and beyond. Yes. Now, we know that the Holy Spirit works in us. He works through us to impact others, others and he uses the gifts. gifts. So the question is, what are the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Spirit. Please, mm -hmm. take us through. So, 
what are the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. The first gift is the gift of healing. Mm -hmm. Healing. Children, do you know that you can heal someone? That the Holy Spirit can heal someone through you? So the Holy Spirit gives us this gift. When your friend has a cough, like coughing, 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 every time, all time, morning, every time, you pray for them and speak and declare healing and Jesus heals them. Yes, that is a gift the Holy Spirit gives us. Yes, teacher Pius. Awesome. Another gift that the Holy Spirit gives us when he comes and stays in us is what we call the word of knowledge. Knowledge that the Holy Spirit can show us things that we do not know about. It can show us things that we would not know on our own. And so sometimes it can show us things about other people or about us. But remember, all these things are for us to help others. others. Mm -hmm. Another one, Teacher Pius, mm -hmm. is miracles. Children, have you heard of the word miracles? It's almost everywhere. In church, everywhere you hear a miracle. You can perform a miracle through the help of the Holy Spirit. And why is this so? For example, if um, your friend has a broken leg or just any situation that is not the way it's supposed to be, you can pray for it. And something happens that cannot be explained by mathematics or logic and that is a miracle like if your friend doesn't have what to eat and you pray for them and they get what to eat or if your friend's leg is broken like i said and you pray for it and it gets straight again that's a miracle and that is a gift the holy spirit gives us yes teacher Pius. awesome the holy spirit also works through us sometimes through what is called the word of wisdom. It's another gift. Now, this is where the Holy Spirit helps us to understand things which we would not normally understand on our own. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. It's amazing. Yes, teacher Becca, another... Another gift the yes. Holy Spirit gives us is the gift of faith. Mm -hmm. Children, did you know that faith is a gift? Did that the know? gift of faith has been given to us. That even though you don't see Jesus, you believe and know in your heart that Jesus is there. And know in your heart that the Holy Spirit is there. And it's this faith that we use because we live a life of faith, knowing that God is taking care of us, knowing that we shall be well, knowing that we shall go to school, knowing that we shall sleep and wake up. Why? Because we have faith. Yes, teacher Pius. Awesome. Another gift that the Holy Spirit gives is the spirit of, are you ready? Are you ready? For I some of ready. you, this is going to be a big one. Yes. The gift of discernment. Ooh. Ah, don't you worry. This, this doesn't really mean anything big. But the, the gift of discernment is the gift where you're able to differentiate between a good spirit and a bad spirit. That mm -hmm. when you walk into a place and someone tells you something, you're able to tell that what they're talking, saying is the right thing or the wrong thing, or it's the right spirit or the wrong spirit that is speaking. Wow, that's Do you a have another one. one for us? I have another one for yes, you. Please. I have another one for us. It's called the gift of tongues. Mm -hmm. Children, remember when the spirit is in us, and also, through us, we speak in tongues. Why? This is a language that only God understands. No one, like even the devil does not understand it. It's a tongue, a language that is unknown. But when you speak it, you're speaking mysteries. You're speaking life and so many other good things. And this is a language all of us should speak. The language of tongues. Yes. And it's only through the Holy Spirit that we are able to speak in tongues. Yes, yes. There is also another gift related to tongues, and that huh? is the gift, I was going to say the spirit, the gift of interpretation of tongues. tongues. That is where the, the tongues that are being spoken, you understand what people are saying. Yes. And so to some, God gives the gift where, the Spirit gives the gift where, while people are saying things that, no one really understands, they understand them. But remember, all these things, all these gifts are for the sake of others. others. Yes. 
And finally, the last gift is the gift of prophecy. Prophecy. Exactly. Prophecy is where a person is able to know. Like the spirit tells you what is going to happen in the future. And then you can go and tell others about it. Isn't that so cool? Where you it's know cool. that, you know what? Teacher Becky or Teacher Becca or Teacher Rebecca or Teacher... <laughs> I'll have very many names where you know that next week something is going to happen and then you're able to tell her and it doesn't happen. But then again, like we've learned, we've learned that all these things, all these gifts that the Holy Spirit gives are for the sake of... Others, children, exactly. others, yes. These, these gifts are all for us to help the church and to help other people. Now, you're probably wondering, how can I receive these gifts of the Holy Spirit? Well, it's the Spirit who gives, and He gives freely. That's what the Bible tells us. Yes. So, Teacher Becca here is going to pray for us to receive the gifts of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. But before you receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit, you yes, have to have the Holy Spirit in, in you. you. And remember, we said to get the Holy Spirit in you, you first have to be born Again. Again, which is receiving Jesus. Jesus. So what do we do first? Do we first receive Jesus and then... Yes, awesome. let's receive Jesus awesome. and then receive the Holy Spirit. Awesome. So children, if you're there and you have not yet received Jesus, don't worry. Don't worry. We are going to receive him today. So hands together, let's pray. Repeat this prayer after me and let's receive Jesus Christ. He said, Dear Lord God. Dear Lord God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your son, Jesus. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I receive you, Jesus, in my heart. I receive you, Jesus, in my heart. Come and do something great in me. Come and do something great in me. In Jesus' name we pray. A Amen. Amen. If you have just prayed that prayer, just know there's a party in heaven a and they're dancing party. and they're singing yes. because you have now become a child of God. Of God. And you have been saved. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now next we're going to pray for the for the gifts of the Holy Spirit to come yes. upon you. But before that I want to tell you guys about children's missional community. Or yes, kids Shepard. MCs as they are called. Or children's MCs as they are mm -hmm. called. And you're probably asking what are those? Well it's a place where children who are like you not like me, but children who are like you, like you, come together and they play together, they pray together, we eat together, we grow together, so we're always learning things, and then we go on mission together, together. where we go out yes. into the community to help the people in the community or in our area or in our neighborhood. So if you would like to join a mission or community and join a bunch of kids who you can play with, you know, pray with, grow with, and all that, and just get new friends, there's going to be a number running on the screen yes. which you can call or tell your mother or father to call and just tell them that you want to join a children's missional community or a kids' MC. If you've also prayed the prayer that teacher Becky led us through, which was to get saved, call the same number. Yes. I think it's here yes. or here or some, it's somewhere on your screen. <laughs> awesome. Teacher Baker. Do you like to pray for us, for those who would like to receive the gifts of the Spirit? Yes. Remember, Teacher Pius told us that the Spirit gives, the, gives us gifts freely. Like, it's a free gift. And yes. he desires that you watching get this gift for the yes. benefit of others. others. So let us pray and receive these gifts. Close your eyes. Humble yourselves. Um, dear Lord God, thank you so much for the children watching. Thank you for the children that desire your gifts to benefit others, to benefit the church, the body of Christ. Thank you because you give us these gifts freely, the little ones watching, that they will get these gifts so that they are able to edify the church, so that they are able to help their friends, so that they are able to do this in order to build others. Thank you so much because you give us freely, oh, what a free gift that we don't have to pay for, that we don't have to do things for but to receive. So today, Jesus, we receive these. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your gifts. We receive them and we believe that we have them and we are going to use them to help 
others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yay. We hope to see you again next Saturday where we'll be talking about something else. else. I don't know if Teacher Becker has something else to tell us as we close up, close off. Oh, children, we are going to miss you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a lovely week. Go out to love and serve the Lord. Yes. And our people in your area. Bye. Bye-bye. Signing out. Today